Chris, you know who's a really big bitch? Who's that? Kane. You want to know why? <laughs> yeah. Because we yeah, were why? supposed to start 15 minutes ago, but where's Kane? Dinky, smelly Kane taking too long. Yep, he's in the shower for like 15 minutes, and we told him we were going to start at 12. It's 12.15, and I texted the group chat an hour ago and spam called. So I'm going to beat that guy up. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to start now. What's what's stopping us? Hell yeah. And if he wants to join us midway through, that's cool. That's fine. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. How's your night last night, big guy? Um, no. Pretty uh. I feel like just saying good or bad doesn't, you know, summarize it very well because it was one of those days where it was some good, some bad. So I'll just start at the start, right? Okay. So I get home from school as one does, and then a buddy of mine, uh, I don't know if saying a name would be a good idea, so we're just going to say... We're uh, last name. We're going to call him Stuart. Fuck it, Stuart. Okay, my boy Stuart hits me up, right? And he's like, hey, yo, um, you want to go to this fucking burger place in uh, Pittsburgh? And I'm like, hell yeah. And so, comes and picks me up, sending out the fucking Google map, you know? Uh, like an hour drive away. So we're driving, you know, we're just chilling, we're vibing, do- doing whatever. And then, so, we're like, I want to say maybe 45 minutes out. The I realized on his phone, also, I'm sorry if I'm getting sidetracked. I'm still a little tired, but I check his phone, and his phone's like on 3%. And, like, the battery's going quick because, you know, Google Maps takes your battery like a fucking motherfucker. So, we're like, oh, that that's, uh... That's no good, so hmm. we start driving around because we're like, we got to find the sheets because, one, well, we needed gas anyway, and we were going to buy a charger at the sheets and then charge up the phone and then keep going. So as we're driving, the phone ends up dying, so no no way to just check for sheets on Google Maps or whatever. So we're driving, and I swear it was about, like, an hour detour <laughs> just finding the sheets because – we kept finding like Sunoco's and like Getgo's and like okay, you know that one gas station that has like the green sun looking thing as their logo. What? Like you know what I'm talking about, right? No. I I don't know green how to, sun how to describe it. Logo. Gas. It's station. like a green sun looking deal. You know I'll, what I mean? I'll go on the Google. Uh, green sun gas station. I think it's called like BP or something. I don't, I don't know the name, but we yeah, saw like it's BP. We saw like two of those, like five get goes and like a hundred Sunokos. But since like none of those places have like sit down areas where you, like there's outlets and shit, we can like charge a phone. We couldn't do any of those, so we drove in a straight line for almost an hour until we finally found the fucking sheets, and it felt like a blessing from the gods because <laughs> like. I don't like, like you. You heard the joke people tell that like you're driving a straight line long enough, you're gonna eventually find the sheets, right? Yeah. Because I've heard that my entire life, and then I finally put that to the test, and it just proves me flat wrong, and it was the worst shit. So we get to the fucking sheets. It's busy as fuck. I don't even know why. The sheets in the middle of nowhere, but like. The entire parking lot was full. We couldn't get to a pump. We just had to wait there for a while. But we got to the pump, filled up the gas. Everything's, you know, besides the hour-long detour, it's going pretty all right. We go in. We find out they don't even have fucking chargers. So we're like, what the fuck, bro? So I better remember timelines. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we went to the Walmart. That was, like, right up the road from there. I think, yeah, we went to that Walmart. That Walmart was also fucking hella busy. I don't, like, we weren't even in Pittsburgh at the time. We were, like, 
maybe still like 20 minutes out. This Walmart was packed to the fucking brim of people. So it was a bitch and a half just getting in there. We find the charger in the Walmart. We go packed to the sheets. We're charging up the phone. Everything's going okay. And then get the burger. Burger was fucking, oh my God, dude. Hella expensive, but fucking worth it. Um, honestly, I'd say it was worth that hour long headache, but I bumped my chair and it went lower and it scared me, but worth the hour long headache. And then after we're leaving, he's like, Hey, yo, want to just pull up to my place? We're going, we're going to smoke a little bit. And I'm like, you read my fucking mind. So we get back there and I don't know what fucking stuff he had, but that shit hit me like a goddamn train, dude. <laughs> I was like laying upside down and shit. Fucking, I tried doing a handstand and almost broke my wrist. Uh, oh, nice. Wait, why were you good doing time, a, good time. Why were you doing a handstand? I don't know. I got super fucking high and it felt like a good idea. Because, <laughs> like I said, I was okay. I was laying on my back, right, and I had like my, my head off the edge of the bed. Yeah. And I was like, does. my head's already upside down. I'm going to just go up on my hands and then just start walking around on my hands, you know? Because you and can then totally I do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah, because I've done it a thousand times. So I, I start to do it, and then my wrist, like, folds it on itself. <laughs> and, like, it popped really loud. I thought I broke it, but I just had to, like, pop it back in, and it was fine, I guess. But, uh... Pretty sure I came home. I I don't really remember much after that fact because that shit was fucking strong as hell. But I fucking I came home and they think I just went straight to bed almost. I, I don't remember watching something though, but Oh yeah, I watched a guy play Pac-Man for like two hours. Are you serious? Like beat the entire arcade game of Pac-Man. So you watched a guy play Pac-Man for two straight hours. Almost, yeah. Why? Well, I watched only about like maybe an hour to an hour and a half of it. That it was a two-hour video, and I didn't watch the whole thing. But I came home, and I went onto the YouTube, and I saw. A video of um full Pac-Man arcade game playthrough, no commentary, two hours long. Are you and I'm like, serious? No commentary either. So you watch no a commentary, hour just of game sounds. Pac-Man, were you tripping? I just, I, I, I just remember being a yellow man for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that that does sound like something you would do. Yeah. Uh huh. Yellow man. <laughs> Why did yellow man get eaten by the ghost? I did that for like an hour. Yeah, I because I, I remember I didn't watch the full video, but I still watched like an hour of it. And I don't know if that's still bad or not. But then okay, then I remember y'all were talking in the fucking group chat about you know planning this, and I kind of sort of remember what y'all were saying i just remember being like i think it was, you were kane but someone was like hey we gotta do this tomorrow and then uh i can't remember i just remember you made to another group chat yeah because why... i can't i can't remember why okay so the reason why i made a different group chat was because why it was like Hey, I'm good on Wednesday, 12 p.m. to record the podcast, right? We were all like, cool, we'll record then. Because he's the one who records it and then uploads it. I called him last night, Tuesday night. And then, yeah, he's like, I'm going to breakfast. And I'm like, okay, well, fuck you. So I made different group chat. We're like, yep, we're going to record it on our own. I'm going to handle it. Fuck him. He can ligma. And we're going to do this. And every we were all in accordance, I guess. And boggers. <laughs> okay, I, I remember agreeing to that now. I'm more than entirely sure what I was agreeing to at the time. 
Yeah, I you were like, yeah, that sounds good. And I was like, okay. And then I over... just kind of skimmed through it, and I just saw something about do y'all agree? And I'm like, I probably do. <laughs> Kane agreed, but Kane's not even here now because I'm pretty sure he's still washing his balls. But you know, needs to really make sure they're nice and delicately cleaned. It's true. It's true. Gotta have those squishy, soft, good-smelling balls. It's very important. Must have the nice balls. Okay, so was it just me, or did I find out yesterday that there's going to be a Demon Slayer game? And how long? I told you about have... that. You did? Yeah. Okay. I, um, I watched game. I watched a trailer it. for it one day at school, and then I showed you. Huh. I don't remember. Shit. <laughs> yeah, but I watched like an hour of like gameplay from it and demos and shit. And I, want... I haven't seen any gameplay yet. How's it looking? Oh my god. This looks like the best anime game I've ever seen. Take the CGI from the anime and then make it into a game. It's Dude. It's pretty swag. At least I think it is. I think it looks pretty good. I'll have to check that out later. See for myself. Dude, I can't wait to play as a Nusuke. Nusuke is like my favorite Demon Slayer character. I'm trying to think who would be my favorite. Did you say your favorite is like Tom Yoga? He's my favorite of the uh, Hashira. Uh... Boy, no. After the movie, my favorite is Ron Goku now. But before the movie, it was uh, Tom Yoga. But favorite character in general? Hmm. Because also I'm excluding Tandro because I mean he's the main character. Of course he's going to be the most interesting. But you no, know, I don't really. I don't slobber all over Tanjiro like other people do. You know he's not the you know he's not the deepest protagonist in anything. But I I, I think that you know his whole character growth of being little weak baby selling coal to I'm going to murder your entire family is pretty cool. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Tanjiro he has good has motivations like, and shit. He's the good guy. That's it. That's his whole character. Yeah. He's the good guy. Some Some of these characters don't have as much depth and they react how you would normally react in any situation all the time. There's no difference. There's nothing to spice it up. I don't get as don't get me wrong. Demon Slayer is an amazing amazing story, but I think some of the characters don't have as much depth as the world does in the animation, the breathing styles, and things like that. I think there isn't enough morally challenging moments where the characters have to think to themselves, oh, what do I do? It's always, go kill demon. Well, they're not out here trying to make it a morally questioning type deal. Know, they're just I trying know, to I make know, a fun shonen, you know? I know. But still, that's just me. That's just me in liking my dark stories and Attack I on Titan that. and shit like that, you know? See, I'm the type that likes to have the balance of the two, like... Because I'm of the mindset that if everything is just going to be dark and sad and everyone's just going to be all upset the entire time, I'm going to just get bored of seeing that after a while, you know? So it's nice to have variety where you have, like, your dark stories with, like, your attack on Titans and stuff. And then you have, like, your more just fun, just beat the shit out of stuff type shows. And then you have, like, your middle ground type stuff like Demon Slayer, you know what I mean? Understandable. Because Demon Slayer has some of those type of like you know like it's not just everything's great all the time everyone's so happy like there's the parts where everyone gets all sad and shit you know but like yeah it's not like every episode you're just like man i hope my favorite character doesn't fucking die this time oh shit he, he's dead you know 
Understand. Like, I fucking love Attack on Titan. Don't get me wrong. But, like, if every show was, like, Attack on Titan, I would get tired of that after a while, you know? I get that. I get that. But then you have dog shit shows, like My Hero. <laughs> My Hero is another one of those I just watch because it's fun, you know? Understandable. Out of like, this season, which do you think, this anime season, which simulcast is going to be, like, top tier? Like, For me, it's like, probably... The two big ones right now, well, the three big ones are Tokyo Revengers, My Hero, and 86. Those are the three I've seen that are, like, the yeah. big ones. And like I said, right now, My Hero Season 5, like, it started out pretty okay, but, like, and, like, the training thing they're doing right now is interesting, but it just feels so dragged out that, like, I have it just kind of, like, it. in the most recent episode, they were starting to spice stuff up a bit because, like, it, it was, like, going into some characters again. But, like, for, like, the two or three episodes before that, it was just, hey, go beat up the other class. Oh, no, you either win or lost, depending on what the plot required. Okay, do the same thing the next episode, just with different groups, and it was like getting a little annoying. A little but bland. yeah, but I think it's getting pretty all right in the next few episodes. I'm hoping so at least, because like I said, I, I I'm not expecting anything wild from my hero. Like I just watch it because fun times and the occasional like maybe kind of sad time, but. Yeah, so I... My Hero Season 5 isn't really doing stuff for me right now, but fucking Tokyo Revengers, dude. Tokyo Revengers. That shit. I fucking Fuck love me. that show, man. Slaps. If you have not watched Tokyo Revengers, go do it right now. That is literally one of my favorite shows of, like, it's it's gonna be an amazing show. I watched a video of a guy who read the manga. He said, if they do it right, now I'm not gonna call this a masterpiece, but if they do justice by the manga then it will be a masterpiece. And I was like, damn, that's, that's sick. And you got to keep in mind, Christian's the type that hates every fucking show I show him. So oh, the fact yeah. that he's I'm enjoying real, this one, it's insane. I'm really picky. I'm really picky when it comes to anime. Like, if it isn't top tier, bad. It takes, it takes yeah. a lot. But Tokyo Revengers has a really good plot. I don't like some of the plot holes and stuff it's not explaining. And random stuff like that. But I'm sure they'll explain it later. Well, it's only five episodes right now. You gotta give it time to explain stuff, you know? Yeah, no, but like... With time travel and shit like that, there's always a bunch of holes in it. That's true. I oh. heard time travel. Like... Oh. Hi, Kane. You decided to show up. Welcome. Yes. Hello. Enjoy your time Sorry, in the I... shower. Yeah, I had to help my mom with stuff for the puppy, too. Understandable. Yeah, that's why it took so long to get in the shower. Ah, ah, I see, I see. I was like... Yeah, you were getting all, like, mad at me, and I'm like, I just told you guys the other day that I'm getting a puppy today. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you were getting a puppy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting angry at me. We were talking about an anime we were enjoying in this, uh, was, was this the spring season? Yeah, spring 2021 season. Yup. Talk about... I need to buy my own... I need to buy my own Crunchyroll account now. Bruh, I'll give you my Crunchyroll. Yes! We all just bum off of Christian's Crunchyroll. It's a good time. Yeah. I gotta ask Cameron where my where we left off in Naruto, because I still am interested in it. Dude, how, ma how far are you into um, Shippuden? Bruh, I'm at the... F I, I can't say anything, because Chris is here. I was about to say, just well, just say the arc or shit. like what, like number you're at, like number uh, episode. I'm in, I'm in the pain arc. Ah, gotcha. How, uh, how far do you think you are into the pain arc? Uh, I, I'm not gonna say who's fighting, but it's a really, really good fight. Understandable. It's like one of the iconic fights in the whole era of Shippuden. Gotcha. 
I don't I don't watch Naruto. Good. I I like my subtle enjoyments. I like watching twenty four episodes of a storyline and then moving on to the next and then watching it if it has later seasons. I can't watch a show that has above two hundred episodes. I can't. I can't sit down and watch it all and think to myself, Man, I enjoyed that. But that's just See, me. that's why I'm watching Naruto every Wednesday because Oh, hey, I forgot today's Wednesday. That's my Naruto day. But anyway, I watch Naruto every Wednesday because uh, if I watch it every day until I finish it, I'm just going to get really tired of it. So Yeah, that's what happened to me for a while. And then, like, she would get mad at me because I wouldn't seem interested. And I'm like, that's all I watch. Like, I still want to watch YouTube and stuff. Understandable. Yeah, so I mean, doing it every Wednesday is, like, balancing it out well. Yeah, I, I, I'm like pick it. I'm not a Naruto guy, personally. I don't. Shonen, big guy, big enemy, Itachi, hand signs, kick ass. Next episode, I got it. I know there's more depth than that. Don't yell at me, but <laughs> it just seems like that's a good majority and like eight episode long fights. So. I don't yeah, know. That's pretty much how it is. That's as the part I'm on right now. It's just kind of them beating a... the shit out of stuff. Okay, we're talking at the same time. Yes. I have no idea what anybody said. Chris, go ahead. I first talked again. first, so Kane, fuck off. <laughs> but you were talking about how Naruto is just like beat up bad guy, do the same thing next episode. And I heard in Shippuden it does go into a bit more like death, but at the moment I'm at right now is just kind of. That's a perfect de- description. <laughs> but I'm into it, so I don't really mind you, it. Until you get to this one fight, like, you'll get so pissed at it. You were telling me that it's like, they just say the same shit for, like, ten episodes straight. Yeah, like, there'll be a fight going on, and then it'll pan to just, like, one thing, and it's the same frame over and over again for the span of, like, ten episodes. My hero. Exactly. And yeah. Naruto, there's a fuck ton of filler, and it's annoying. Exactly. That's why I don't watch it. I... I'm i just going to skip the bad fillers. I'm going to watch the good ones, though, because there are good filler episodes. Well, there's a whole filler but... arcs, like whole entire arcs, where it's just Yeah, filler. and I heard some of those filler arcs are really good, so I'm probably going to watch those, but any of the bad fillers that are just like, let's go eat ramen for 20 minutes. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm just going to skip those, you know? Yeah, that's understandable. I will not... The reason I don't want to start Naruto is because it's a continuation of a series, and I'm not watching Baruto, because what's that? Oh. 65% of the show's fucking filler. Yeah. Bruh. I'm not watching that. I am okay. So, I'd rather uh, watch One Piece. I'm only four episodes into it. I'm Bro, only four one episodes into One Piece. I was about to get to that, but I'm I'm fucking I'm I'm vibing with it so far. One Piece with fucking nine hundred episodes. Bro, Naruto has like the same amount. Naruto has like six hundred. Yeah, Naruto ha- Naruto has like two hundred and something, and then Shippuden has like four hundred and something. So it's like six hundred and. Maybe I'm a 700 in total. Yeah, but you have to... Yeah, because I kind of just lumped the first too. series and Shippuden into, like, one, like, term, you know? You have to include at least Baruto. How many episodes of Baruto are there? And how I long think is that going like... to last? Baruto's going to end up like Shippuden, too, because Baruto is, like, the original Naruto. And then after that, there's going to be, like, a quote-unquote Baruto, Baruto Shippuden, Shippuden. Essentially. <laughs> Wait, Chris, and have then, you met Neji yet? Um, I'm bad with names. Describe what he looks like or what she looks uh, like. He, uh, he has long hair. He has like the purple eyes. Then I don't think so. No, they're okay. on episode You'll... 200 of Baruto. So, on a technicality, Naruto as a series as a whole has 900 episodes. That is ongoing which is the same as One Piece, because it's one story. So, I think they're about the same. (laughs) Yeah. 
Like I said, I'm only four episodes in the One Piece, but I'm I'm fucking with it so far. It's interesting. I did something yesterday. What'd you do? I downloaded Tinder. Why did you download Tinder? <laughs> Dude, I got fucking 20 <laughs> likes already. <laughs> in the span of not even 24 fucking hours. Bitches on Kings. <laughs> My guy's gonna be slaying the MILFs. He's gonna be I've... slaying MILFs. I know. I almost had a date for yesterday, but she couldn't go. Dang. He's already diving in it. How long has it been? Like two days? <laughs> well, how it ended, it's just like, I don't have time to be upset, really. Like, I'm perfectly fine. I saw it coming from a fucking mile away, so there's no point on being upset. I'm perfectly fine. He's like, I'm ready to slay more pussy. <laughs> I- I'm ready to fucking get in them pink tacos, bro. All right, we're going to not. All right. <laughs> testosterone type B. Okay, moving big, on. Big. That was the <sighs> most straight guy thing I've ever heard. But anywho. Being testosterone ta- filled. Being Taco Bell drive through all fucking night Shut long. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> man. I'd be ordering the pussy special. Oh my god, stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> With a Baja Blast. Just, <laughs> just, 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 just <laughs> fuck. I'm so ready for school to be over. I'm so tired of this shit. I'm ready to fuck you. Same. We all go to the same school, so. I'm ready to graduate. I'm the only one graduating out of you bitches. Yeah, you're out of here. It's okay, I ain't going anywhere for another three fucking years. It's cool, it's cool. <sighs> Unless I make a dumbass decision to join the military, but that ain't fucking happening. I don't think the military Sergeant Kane. Sergeant No, it's Kane. not. Admiral Kane. Sergeant Kane. Colonel Kane. Lieutenant Colonel Fuckface Kane. They call me fuck dick in the streets. They call me dick fuck in the sheets. <laughs> they call me come in the sink. I come in the sink during the day, but at night, I sink in the cum. Women's cum. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I have to specify that I am not gay. (laughs) It has to be the woman kind. Because I definitely don't like men. Wink, wink. I only like the cum of the women variety. Okay, just because I I dress like a raging bisexual doesn't mean I am a raging bisexual. That's exactly what that means, Kane. You're just so far in the closet that you can't even reach the rope I'm throwing out to you. I'm not bisexual. <laughs> you are. Fuck-ass. You. All right, this man. I bet you wear fish nuts under your... fish nets under your fish nuts. I bet you wear fish nuts. <laughs> I bet you wear f- fish, fish nets. nuts, dude. You wear fish nets under your pants, bro. You can't even cap. You you want to you be taken at right now, bro? You're just proving that you're gay. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what did that have to do I with anything? Sauce on. I have socks. Oh shit! Forgot he's not gay. Never mind. <laughs> the defining term of someone's gay or not if they wear socks. Yeah, because everybody knows gay people hate socks. Yeah. Facts, dude. I thought... Women never. You ever seen a gay guy wear Women socks? Never no. Wear socks. Okay, We're talking at the gay. same time again. What's happening? <laughs> Women don't wear socks. Does that mean all women are gay? Well, they like penis, so yeah. That's pretty gay. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Time to go to Arby's for that roast beef. No more fucking pink tacos at Taco Bell. How does spoon <laughs> dick on the butt titty in my hand Kiss you, Nick. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. What? How to spoon? 
<laughs> I love that video. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's a pretty good one. Oh fuck. I have to put my candle up. So what all did we talk about already? So all I'm right. not like so, repeating the same shit. We got into the podcast. We were like, Kane's a bitch. And then we were like, yep. Even though I was, I was preparing for my dog. It's understandable. Anywho. Uh, that's neither here nor there. Then we talked about Chris's night last night. Since he got high as shit. Ate burgers. Talked about eating burgers and getting high. Then we talked about Demon Slayer. How there's a Demon Slayer game coming out. And it looks super swag. <sighs> and other new gen animes. And then you join. Then we started talking about Naruto. Whether or not you're gay. And now we're discussing about what we discussed before this. So, yeah. Dude, you want to know it's a good Later, book? we're going to discuss like, what... about what we discussed about what we discussed. Shut the fuck up, yes. Chris. All right, what'd you say, Kay? You know it's a good book the school actually made us read that I was interested in? Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is a good book. Yeah, it shows it shows like that kids are brains are still not fully developed and it goes into like it doesn't really explain it, but like you can see like what being stuck on an island can do to a kid and they just fucking start murdering each other. Okay, the I re- I read like the first 5 chapters on my own. I remember reading how plane crash, they're there. They're chilling. And then they start, like, making pulls and shit and eating berries and, like, having diarrhea everywhere. <laughs> yeah, booby. What? Shit in the ocean, feed the fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what they were doing. And then, yeah, they were all having diarrhea. They're like, we need, like, meat. And then the one kid's like, I'm going to kill a fucking pig. And he's, like, shaking in anger. And then he goes out and he murders it. And they come back and they cook it. But it's, like, dog shit. And they start eating it. And it's, like, half raw, half burnt. They're like, this shit, bush. So they're eating this shit, that. Bush. And they're eating that. And then I remember, I think they kill the fat kid. Do they eat him? Yeah. Do they kill? No, they, they didn't. eat the fat no, they kid did or did they just resort- kill him? They just killed him. They crushed him with a rock. Well, he didn't die first. Rip. Who died first was the schizophrenic because he had seizures and shit. And then he went into a cave. And, like, the pig that they killed, they put on a fucking stake. The head of the pig. Ah. So, like, because they they, the little kids were, like, fucking, they swore they saw a beast. But in reality, it was a fucking dead guy hanging from a parachute. Ah. But, like... He has this full-on schizophrenic moment and, like, hears the Lord of the Flies. Like, he classifies himself as the Lord of the Flies. Awesome. Yeah. And then then he dies whenever he's going to tell them that there is no beast. And Jack, Jack, the one that kills the pig, kills him because he thought he was the beast. Oh. That's funky. Yeah. Rip to the schizophrenic guy. Yeah, I looked at the teacher. I'm like, is this guy a fucking schizo? Schizo? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is this guy a schizo? Like, he just talked to a fucking pig's head, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. This man's talking to the pig. And then, like, the guy that kills the pig is angry because he wants to be, like, the leader of the island, and he doesn't get his way. So he makes his tribe, and then they go after Piggy and Ralph. Piggy's the fat one. And then Piggy ends up dying, and Ralph's just kind of pimp chimp in there, like, hiding from him. And then a sailor comes to rescue him. Uh, uh Pog. Pog. I slept. We we like audio listened to the book, even though like I slept through half of it. I caught some of the major parts, and it was just very interesting. I slept through the like, class, could... but the book was okay. <laughs> yeah, like the book was great. I loved it. Understandable. Ugh, my allergies are kicking my ass. I hate pollen. 
I have headaches. Well, I think like, it's weird that I just every huh? day. I have, like headaches every day. It sucks. I used to have really bad allergies, but they just aren't affecting me this year, and it's weird. Lucky for like, I'm not complaining. Because had, it's because you had COVID, bro. I never even had COVID. I had COVID. I think I did. I think I did at one point. Which, I... uh, well, actually, I don't know if I did because my sister got it. But, like, and then my, my sister and mom both had it, like, back in January almost. It was whenever we were over quarantine. But, like, I didn't feel any symptoms, so I, I still went to work because fuck that. I want money. But if I felt any symptoms, like, I was there. And, and plus, I isolated myself in my room every day. Like, I literally went home, went in my room, and I didn't fucking leave. I did that already. Yeah. Like, That's it was Chris's the same life. fucking routine. <laughs> Welcome the to the club, routine. buddy. Yeah, so I was just sitting there. I'm like, I didn't get any symptoms. I may be asymptomatic, but nobody else got sick at work, so I don't think I had it. I might go get a blood test to see if I had it at one point. But No, I definitely had it. It was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> Imagine. Shut the fuck up. I never up, had it just because I'm still... <laughs> Chris, the reason you don't have it, ha- have it is because you don't go anywhere. Yeah, because I'm built. N- not because you're built. It's because you watch anime at home. Well, All even when I do go places, like... You just kind of I still haven't got corner. it. What? When he goes places, he just stands in the corner like a little kid that forgot his train. Yep. That's Chris. Chris moment. Guys, it's me. It's him. You've, you've cracked the code. Yup. <laughs> oh. Why it's a little bitch. Sometimes. All right, but so almost I think all the time. I that he wanted to join. Why? Did he say something? No, it just sound, like whenever he te- the messages he deleted, it concerned me. I didn't know if he was upset that he couldn't make it or we did it without him or what. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. The, I don't know what to do. So we're just gonna record it without him this time. If he wants to record with us again, sure. If he doesn't, whatever. But. I'm not mad that he's out with his breakfast with his grandfather or anything. It's not I'm not gonna be like fuck you, but like fuck you. He could have at least like told us just the tiniest bit sooner. I had to call him to find out, and then what? I spent an hour making a thumbnail figuring it out. So yeah, this will get uploaded today too. I stayed up till like three o'clock in the morning. Why? I'm just kind of chilling there. Just kind of chilling. Yeah, scrolling through Tinder. Bitches. As one does. Bitches. 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 They <laughs> <laughs> said, "Stayed up to three. Yep, look at that, bitches." <laughs> bitch. Yeah, bitch. Okay. Milf like bitch. Milf like like like. Bitch, bitch, milf, like. <laughs> no, a lot of them are fucking preppy on there. Like, I'm, I don't want a preppy bitch. You just set your preferences to milfs. Yeah, to milfs and goths. <laughs> milf goth. <gasps> Dude. Dude, it's the chick from fucking Resident Evil, the vampire chick. Miss Tremis, Je- Miss uh, Je- Jesk, Jesku, Jess. Miss, uh, I don't know the fucking Miss, names. I just Jessica, know she got honkers. Yeah, fat ass. She's the OG goth goth milf. <laughs> she, OG she, goth milf. Did y'all see she got imported to Source? Uh, you don't see they made porn mods? Yeah. <laughs> the second the game launched. <laughs> yeah, now she's Yo, in did Source. You see that all over. Khalifa? Did you see that Mia Khalifa got fucking banned from Israel? Like, she's not allowed in the Middle East anymore? Why? F. I think it's because of her porn. <laughs> oh, understandable. Okay, what's her What's her name? I have to find her name. Man, it's on that research mode. 
Dredge, uh, villain name. I feel like you could have just searched Resident Evil Eight Mommy Milker and it would have showed up. Here, uh, here, I'll be, I'll be the test tube for that. Okay, I'll, I'll Google, I'll Google Resident <laughs> Evil tube. Eight Mommy Milker <laughs> images. Google oh. images. Oh, that's a lot of fan art. Okay. Going back. <laughs> <laughs> What's her oh, name? Oh, that's a lot of fan Lady art. Lady Dimitrescu. Lady Dimitrescu. Lady Dimitrescu. Yes. Did you see that she's taller than fucking Thanos? Yeah. She's like eight feet tall, she dude. She would dom Thanos. Dude, I'd yeah. let her peg me for the sheer fact. I'm, we know. <laughs> uh, lady... You know what's funny? The third search down uh-huh. is fan art when I look up her name. <laughs> like, classy fan art or just normal fan art? Oh, classy. We're talking classy, classy here. Ah. Uh... Like tits and ass and all Yeah, I'm doing research right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's for my research project for school. Yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna fail this assignment tomorrow for my physics class. He hasn't been here the past couple of days, and he sent out videos for, the, like, the lesson, and I haven't watched any of them. I'm sure. So, I'm gonna fail this test tomorrow. Okay, Lady Dimitrescu Hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Research. Fat, uh, okay, I'll put fat tits. Google. <laughs> okay. I should probably not say fat this stuff out loud. Google. Uh, I accidentally clicked the miss record button. Shit. I have to splice it now. Fuck. Did I say that? Huh? I farted. Oh. Thanks. Um, okay. Didn't you say why my mom left my room? Yeah, why won't your mom leave your room? I don't know. She was just sitting in my chair, and I was like, okay, thank you. Okay. Was this last night, or? No, this was this was this morning. She was just chilling in my room. I was like, oh. I, I, I tried to get set up for the podcast, and then she was just chilling in my chair texting people. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Move. <laughs> my mom don't get in my room. For the sheer fact, she's probably scared of what to find in here. No, I got a fucking story. And I just realized this shit. It fucking dawned on me the other day. So, at my grandparents' house, they have like a... They used to have like a jewelry drawer. Like, it was a whole fucking dresser just filled with old jewelry from like dead grandparents and relatives and shit. But I remember going in there one day. And I found fucking handcuffs. Mm-hmm. I'm like, <laughs> like back then I was like, man, these are cool <laughs> to play with. I'm like, and then like I every time I went over there, I'm like, Grandma, where are the handcuffs? I want to play cop. And now like it just dawned on me fucking yesterday that holy <laughs> fuck, my grandparents were kinky fucking bitches. <laughs> Uh, so I said like, wait a minute. <laughs> I just started thinking about it the other day. I'm like, fuck. Okay. <laughs> so my VPN set to Japan because I know their Netflix is different and they release episodes weekly on Netflix. And then I see such random ads. They're horrible. They're the worst ads for anything. That I've ever seen, and I hate it. Because half the shit's banned in Japan, bruh. They have to censor their own porn. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Feels bad. Um. <laughs> fun it's over here like, it's a real travesty! <laughs> shit! There's a lot of stuff that's like... Oh, you can you can watch the new season of Seven Deadly Sins because you know what it comes out weekly. That's I need to weird. watch Seven Deadly Sins. Don't watch I, Seven I watched, Deadly Sins. Don't. I already watched the first season. It's so anyway. bad. It's so bad. I liked it because the chick with big tits. 
Shut up. I feel, like it's, I feel like it's one of those that even when it starts, it's just mid, and then it just gets even worse as it goes. Fun fact, Jujutsu Kaisen is on Netflix in Japan. Fun fact. I love Jujutsu Kaisen. I might watch it. I may, I may like, take a break from Naruto and just fucking watch that. You better. It's Do it. so good. You should watch Tokyo Revengers, too. I want to watch Skate Infinity, too. Oh. Ew. It's about oh. skateboarding, bro. There's a guy named oh, Joe. Oh, here. oh, oh, okay. Skateboarding. The, sk- Skate the Infinity is a gay anime the same as Given. It's like, oh, I'm a skateboarder, or oh, I play in a band. This is cool. And then eight episodes later, the men are kissing. That's what Skate the Infinity Did you talk is. about how much you loved Given, though? Yeah, because I am gay, so I like it, but I wish it had more plot. <laughs> You're like, I've Just had enough of that kissy give me plot. Wait, what'd you say, Kane? I said, just watch Yarrington Bitch Club then if you're so gay. No, I... okay, there's a difference between watching a gay romance anime and watching straight up hentai. Now, I don't, I don't. Hmm, <laughs> this is, this is pretty good. What? This has a nice plot. <laughs> banana <laughs> fish is <laughs> ass. Change Shut up. Banana fish is literally one of my favorite shows. Fuck you. I love banana fish. Suck my wiener. I just wanted to hear. I, I haven't watched it. I can't put an input it's on so it. So good. So I just, I just wanted to. Chris, see you know how I feel right. now. Every time you call one of my shows best. Yeah. Well, at least I watch quality shit. Fuckface. At least I can enjoy things. Dude, I enjoy Star Wars good Bad things. Batch is so fucking good on. I want to watch Plus. that. I do want to watch that. Oh that my fucking! Good. The first episode. It's like. What is it? Star Wars Bad Batch. It's about. Uh, I haven't watched that yet, but I'm. I've been meaning to get around to it. Yeah. I want to watch Code Geass, I want to watch dude. fucking Invincible, dude. Dude, I watched the Dude, first... I just started watching that, bro. Holy fuck! I, I want to <laughs> start that, dude. <laughs> I watched the first two so episodes much blood, of it. There's so shit. much gore, and it is fucking great. D- has everybody seen just, the final scene the of it here? It's like, fine! guess i'll start again and he's like beating the shit out of his son i've never seen the scene but i saw like the memes of yeah, him being that, like thank you mark thank wait what are we talking huh? about okay you you know the scene that's going around of like omni man kicking the shit out of the one dude yeah 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 his his son he's like thank mark He's like, yeah, enslave humanity. So many times. <laughs> I've, I've seen it every day. Did you see the one where it's like, <laughs> you know, like the beatboxing audio on it? Yeah. With the horseshoe. Yeah. I'm on like episode four right now. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, here it is. There's that dude that, there's that black dude that turns himself into a fucking rock. Rock. Yeah, I found it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Isn't that on uh, Amazon Prime? Yeah. Yeah, it's on Amazon Video. I have it. I asked mom. I was like, "Hey, do we still have Amazon Video? There's this very gory show I want to fucking watch." It's so good. It's fucking amazing. And then, like the first episode, whenever he's just fucking, oh my, he it's like, like crushes. He crushes the, the eyeball comes out of his socket. I'm sitting here in awe, and I'm like, "This is actually happening." I didn't know shows like this could exist anymore. Oh yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, it was. Oh my god! And then he just fucking the guy. He smacks the one guy on the ground, and his brains just fucking shoot out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shit smear after Chipotle. It's just you know. Dude, they got Vidlin Saga on Prime? What the fuck? It's a Prime exclusive, dumbass. It so is? Invincible. Yeah. Vidlin Saga Damn, didn't know that. is Prime exclusive. You didn't know that? Oh, it's like every other shit. 
I thought it was like every other show that just releases on everything. Nope, that's a that's a Prime Video thing. Uh. Still really fucking good though. Vinland Saga is hella good. I love Vinland Saga. Dude, I want to watch Dororo. I think that's about like samurais and shit and like demons and stuff. It looks fucking cool. Dororo. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's just Dororo. 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 I well, I think I'm gonna have to head out here because I, I got people coming all over. I do think fifty minute segment is pretty good. Only thing we really talked about: anime, making fun of each other, gay jokes, and Chris smoking weed. But yeah, honestly, I th- I think it was a great time. I think it was a great time. I yes. think it was too, fellas. All right, all right. Yeah, I. Hey, anyone have anything to say for for those at home? FBGM people will fuck bitches get money. Facts, facts. Chris, F- big facts, bro. Uh, I got nothing. Understandable, understandable. Well, that's true. That, that, that's my fuck, closing statement. Fuck bitches get money. We're out this hoe. See you.